Hello, it's back again. So back with a brand new video of my acoustic. If you're wondering why the Rick and Morty theme, which what I was playing, wasn't high enough, that's a broken high E string. Electric one's broke too. Um, really, um, yeah, it just sucks. But uh, by the way, it's warned in of a cough during this video. I do still have a bit of a cold. Uh, so I haven't done any vids for about four or five days. I was planning on doing a lot, but I've had a really bad cold. Um, but I have some stuff to talk about. I've got a new series I'm doing right now. I've got my phone with me and my parents are gone, so I'm praying it does not ring loads. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. This is Geek Out Episode 1. Brand new series I'm going to do every possibly week, possibly fortnight. It depends how much stuff I have going on. It depends how much stuff is being released. So I have a lot to talk about. I've written down notes or classic. Um, I've got a lot to talk about, so I'm just going to go straight into it, so I'm just going to review some stuff first. <coughs> it's like I was saying, <coughs> smack, I've got a bad cough, um, <laughs> what is that, before I start talking loads, just put one of these on my nice top. Okay, so the first thing I have to talk about to you is Attack on Titan. Um, excellent show. It's an anime show. <laughs> Put it that's on my mouth. It's an anime show, a Japanese one, and it is the story is basically a bunch of a bunch of people built this wall around a city. They got a city. They built a hundred, not hundred foot wall. Um, fifty meter wall. I guess fifty meters. I've, I've watched this. Or like a week or so ago, so I don't remember too much. I built this new wall to keep these titans out, which are invading the city and killing them. So obviously they don't want to meet <laughs> who would. Um, but the kid whose name I cannot remember, what was the girl's name? The main boy. Um, there's going to be spoilers for episode one, by the way. Um, but after a bit, he wants to join the team who is stopping all the who is helping the t stop the Titans and that. But they haven't attacked in years, and then of course they attack, destroy the whole city, eats the kid's mum, <laughs> and uh, just sets the whole story for the show. I only watched the first episode. There's 25 in season one. And season two is coming back incredibly soon. I've got to get cracking. Uh, these are all on Netflix, by the way. Uh, this is where I watched it. Great, absolutely great. It's in Japanese or English. I watched it in Japanese because when I call the Studio Ghibli films, you've got to watch them in Japanese. You just, you sort of got to because of English, it looks out of sync. Japan and English, two very different languages, two different cultures, and dubs are not great. Like, um, if you watch the uh, Enter the Dragon dub, then just, um, <laughs> there's no point. I've always watched the Bruce Lee films in Japanese. I'd always watch it. If any film was originally shot in Japanese, or in any language, I'd watch it in that language with subtitles. Um, I did with one of my favourite films, Pan's Labyrinth, which is an absolute creepy smack film. But, uh, um, it's a Spanish film. I watched it all in Spanish subs. So you just sort of got to to appreciate it. But Attack of Titan episode one was superb. I've actually ordered a wall scroll and a figure for it already. That's how much I liked it, or how much I like buying merchandise. It's one or the other. And, and coming from Hong Kong, brilliant show. Highly recommend it. Episode one was great. I'm gonna watch episode two. It's one of those things. Never watch TV shows. I like them to be light-hearted, sort of. Because I like my films serious and TV shows light-hearted. But saying that, I do like a lot of sci-fi shows and superhero ones. So yeah, basically, Verdict, Attack on Titan, excellent. Watch it. If not, then I'm um, unsub... Don't, don't. I'm probably going to have ten subs left. Um, I was just looking for a sub yesterday, by the way. It's completely off topic. I realised that's the one with 7k subs sub to me, so that was cool. <laughs> nice to know someone's watching. Hope they shout me out. But, um... More to talk about. So, when I was lying in bed, dying of cold, I watched a light-hearted film, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> this was an interesting film. Um, a lot of you guys, depending on how long you've been here, you might know one of my favourite films is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Similar time, similar feel, 
similarly shot. Um, I found this to be very similar with Stanley Kubrick's 2001. The feel of it, okay, basically the story is these astronauts erupt to NASA in space, and um, they've been up there for ages, so it's like 2000 and... I don't know, it's near the end of 2000 or 2090 something. It's far ahead. And, um, basically, what is it? Oh, yeah, they, um, they go in, like, um, a machine which keeps them asleep, containment. And, um, they get out of there when something happens, and they land on this planet. And it heads planet the apes. And, um, they land on there, it's just water at first, they're there for about 20 minutes exploring it, figuring out stuff, you get to see Char Hen Charlton Heston swim butt naked, that's um, absolutely hideous, scarred for life. Um, <laughs> that bit is just, uh, <laughs> you see them uh, explore the planet, then, uh, what is it? Why don't I remember this? That eventually they're following the apes and they're cheating the humans as slaves. <laughs> Funnily enough, they've got the humans in cages. It's all very funny to us. But, um, I've got them all doing their work just like it was with, um, you know, the whites and the black people. It was, it's like that, the slaves, the way they're keeping them as slaves. That's what it's like. You know, like a 12 years of slave, they're just keeping them slaves, making them get all their food, doing the work for them. But there's a couple of good ones and, I realised Charlton Heston could speak. They think he's the missing link, bet link, link between evolution and man, which is just, um, as I believe to be, a bunch of crap. Believe what you want, it's a bunch of crap. Um, it was interesting, but I really enjoyed it. Once I started to see the apes, it was funny. The makeup is actually done very well. The 1960s. There's a picture on the disc of one, and there is. It, for 1960s, that is pretty good makeup. And huge twist ending. I don't want to spoil it, I was going to say spoiler alert, so if you want to see this film, fast forward about 30 seconds. Um, I'll hold this up when I'm done, because if you're flicking through the frames you'll see. So, big twist ending. He goes off with the girl, who he found, and he comes across the beach, and he finds, I didn't want to hold it, he finds the Statue of Liberty, which makes him realise he was on Earth all along. And he went really far into the future after they landed on that planet, by the way. They were in, like, 30-something. And he realised he was on Earth all along. And it's been taken over by apes. That was a very surprising twist. Very clever. And set up the next film really well. I need to watch this. I'm done now. Um, next film is Beneath. Then Escape. Conquest. Battle. Behind. Behind's not a film. That's a special feature. There's Planet, Beneath, Escape, Conquest, Battle, Remake, Rise, Dawn, War. But um, that's the new one that's coming out in four months. Excellent film, 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. If you've never seen Planet of the Apes, I highly recommend it. I do not think it's better than 2001, though. It is not. Um, that film is great, but excellent film. Next up, so I've got my um, cough in my mouth. We have... The Flash Rebirth comic. Um, this is a new issue, The Flash Rebirth. And this was... This is a really good comic. The art is superb. Story is very good. I don't really want to spoil some stuff in case you're ready because I want you to go buy it. I'm supporting DC. <laughs> yeah, I've got this at WH Smiths. And uh, they're £4 an issue. But it's pretty big. It took me about 30 minutes to read. Actually, no. It didn't, but... Um, depends how slow you read. It's excellent though, so I'd highly recommend this comic. There's a couple of Flash stories and a Green Arrow one, a small Green Arrow one, but next issue is on sale 25th of May, so I highly recommend you buy this and buy that one. This is an excellent comic book. Uh, the art is incredible. I love Flash, he's one of my favourite heroes. Good story, read it. It's, um, it links up with the show quite well, too, some of it. So, if you're a fan of the Flash show and you haven't read the comics, I would recommend this. And if you live in England, you can find these at WH Smith's for the low, low price of £3.99. It's rated T for teen. If you're not a teen, don't buy it. It's pretty hardcore. No, it's not. But next up, we have to talk about Batman um, Rebirth. Issue 1. Uh, the Flash one was issue 3. It's going to be issue 4 next. Duh. 
Um, actually, if you know, if you uh, know Microsoft, maybe it's not going to be issue four. Maybe it's going to be issue three sixty. Batman issue one. <laughs> um, this is this is good. It's, it's really good. It's cool to see a really good Batman comic series starting. The good thing is, I never catch these comics from the start. I was reading Astonishing Spider-Man. I must have started reading that on issue 100. Completely lost. Absolutely. This, I was not. This is great. I mean, it introduces Nightwing into it. And the next one sets up Nightwing to be pretty big in it. And uh, Batman's wanted on that. Really interesting. A bit like Arrow going on right now. But, um, this is superb. Same price, £4. Next issue is out... Wrote it on my calendar, I think. One sec. Um, when's the next issue out? I know it's on a Thursday. Oh, uh, 27th of April. The next issue is out. 27th of April. I'd highly recommend buying this first, because this is issue one. So you can catch it from the first issue. And it'd be really nice to buy when they finally end this. I'd have the whole arc. It'd be really cool. Excellent comic. Again, excellent art. Uh, I mean, DC are doing this new series of... Rebirth, so you know, as a new 52, but now they're doing Rebirth. And um, I'm trying to get Aquaman and Superman, I can't find them anywhere. The only other ones that my WH Smith's had was Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn. I don't really have any interest in them, so didn't buy them. But yeah, that's comic talk. Um, well, some of it. <laughs> Next up, Justice League. This trailer looks incredible. I will link it down below. It looks absolutely superb. So much big stuff going on. But Cyborg looks excellent. Um, if you don't know, the day before they were going to release a trailer, which I think was at WonderCon, they released 20 second clips of each one. Nothing much to show. Just a couple of pictures. Bit of like little footage of them kicking some ass. Um, but it looks oh, so good. Aquaman, I'm so excited for. Aquaman and Cyborg are going to be amazing. The new Flash, actually, is surprisingly turning me around already. Um, basically, this thing's come. This thing comes. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Dark Side. Don't quote me on that. I think it is. It comes after them. And this thing destroying Earth for that, you know, as every superhero film is. Um... And he's got, he's, they've got to go after the Justice League. They've got to protect the Earth. Just like the Avengers and Avengers 1 and every superhero team ever. But, um... Ben Affleck is Batman still. Henry Cavill is going to be in it as Superman. That's obvious. He's going to be in it a bit. If you haven't watched Batman vs Superman, then the end is, um... Well, I won't spoil it, but it's really good. Um... I can't remember if I Cyborg or Wonder Woman. Or Aquaman. Or Flash, I'm really great with names. I shouldn't have started listing the cast, really. Um, I do know Zack Snyder's directing it, though. Same guy directed, you might have been looking up, Man of Steel, which I've got on Blu-ray. And Watchmen. And he did want he did Battle vs Superman, yeah, that's it. But um, I'm so excited for Justice League. I think it's going to be a superb film. I was really hoping, uh, the one thing I've been really disappointed about is that there's no Green Lantern. Green Lantern is one of my favourite heroes. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that. He's one of my very favourites. I'm very disappointed that he's not in this. They recast Flash. Why couldn't they recast Green Lantern? Why? How much hard work would that have been? It definitely had the budget. They're going to make billions. They're going to make a stupid amount of money. It's, it's a superhero film from DC. It'll make money. It doesn't matter if it's absolutely atrocious. It'll make some money. Also, another character, I'm not even sure he's still alive, is Robin. Oh, there was an Easter egg in Dark Knight Rises, I want to say. It might have been Batman vs Superman. I think it's Batman vs Superman. Well, the, the thing uh, to do with Robin dying is actually, it reads out something. I cannot remember it right now, I've seen it so much. Um, uh, technically, he's... I'm not sure if he's still alive or not. Pardon me, um... <laughs> I just had a lunch. I'm really interested to see what happens with this whole thing uh, with Rabbit. I don't want him... I wonder if I'm scratching my nose, it's really sore. Um, 
I don't want him to die because he's a really good character and they could bring him into it and make him superb. I really hope he's in it. I really do. But I'm very interested to see what Justice League's going to be like. More predictions. I'm going to rate it. I think it's going to be a 9 out of 10. So far, it's looking excellent. I think it's going to be better than Batman vs Superman, actually. I think it's going to be perfect. Um, Cyborg looks incredible. Very interested to see what happens. So <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, we sounds sweet, the whole side. Um, now we go on to Justice League talk. It's all pulling in my driver. Um, Justice League tour we just finished. Now, uh, Rick and Morty. Let's talk about it. Um, okay, I'm rewatching the show a bit. And um, on April Fools, April first, they <laughs> it's just so cool. Adult Swim aired Rick and Morty season three episode one on uh, their website, and I found a free site to watch it on, which I'm not going to share. I don't really want to get banned. So I'm sorry, guys. But um, leave a comment if you want the link. I will link you. But it it is I got it in HD, so I watched it on my computer. It is so good. So let's talk about it. Basically, spoilers for season two. Mort Mort Rick is still um still in galactic prison after the end of season two when he got done for everything. And he's in a brain simulator at the beginning with this um agent and they're going through his memories, they're trying to get him to see the first time made his portal gun and that. And uh, he actually manages to hack through it and sort of get out of it, which is really cool. And he manages to escape the prison. And Morty, Morty is like, he's not the guy you thought he was. The summer's all like, he is, he can do all this, he's great, he can get himself out. And um, she's sort of going insane. And, um, because the, Galact the Galactic Federation have took over Earth, which is, um, I mean, bad film is robots, all their food is pills, Jerry's getting promoted loads, it's really weird. But, um, yeah, that happened, and Morty actually tries to, when they're in the fight, and they're about to get killed, Morty tries to shoot Rick, and he kills, he thinks he's killed him, and then on the back, and then Rick says, oh, good job, you saw the note at the back, it says, fake gun, shoot me in combat, he's like, um, yeah. <laughs> so he did try to kill Rick, which is a big surprise. Um, interesting, <laughs> bit of a traitorous act, but, uh, he, Rick has no idea, but that was really interesting, and um, someone's losing their mind. And also, at the end of the episode, um, Rick's Rick's uh, who says it? As Rick says, he chooses between me or Jerry, and uh, I think someone chooses Rick. No, isn't that? One of them says it. I can't remember. And then Summer, not Summer, um, Beth. And Jerry get divorced. They're going to get divorced. And the two parents. That's going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm sure we'll be back in it. But, um, that was really interesting. A great episode with um, Little Easter Eggs. And at the end of the episode, they've <coughs> risen with <coughs> Tammy and the government agent have resurrected Bird Person as Phoenix Person. <coughs> really funny. And, um, also, I love the way that um, Rick took down the Galactic Federation. He changed the, their money worth from one to zero. They were all going nuts. It was so funny. But, uh, absolutely great episode. Then Nathan Fillion's a cameo, which guy from Firefly. And uh, Dr. Horrible. Really funny. Good episode. Good way to start the season. But I think it's coming in, like, I'm going to say August or so. But I'm really excited for that. And when it comes, there'll be some stuff to do with it. I'd uh, geek out a <laughs> series I'm starting. So... Yep, superb. Ha! Next up, what have we got to talk about? Spider-Man Homecoming. This film is out in June, I think. Actually, I think it's July. This looks so good. The trailer come out for it. It looks superb. Really cool at least. It's going to have the Vulture as a big part in it. And they were going to have him as a villain um, in Spider-Man 3. Last minute, I changed it to Venom. That, if you wonder why it wasn't that good... That's why. Um, 
Oh, they've also, uh, by the way, they've also announced big news, speaking of Venom, a R-rated Venom film, which should come in 2019, I think. Very interested about that. I think that's going to be excellent. Back on to Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, it's a really cool Vulture Easter egg to the trailer. There's actually a license plate of his first issue of on it. It's so SMS and uh, something like that. It's got the title number. Really cool a little Easter egg. Also, um, in the trailer, what else was there? There was some really big stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Um, it's a really big thing. Um, Spider-Man has got the Iron Man, he's going to have the Iron Man spider suit. What Iron Man's designed it for him, he's got loads of new things, he's got this little drone, um, his new eyes, new things he can do with it, which is really cool. They're yeah, not doing the Iron Spider suit from the comics yet, but I think that'll definitely come up. And I'm so excited, because Iron Man's going to be a big part of this Spider-Man film. He's going to be like, um, have I got, um, reference? Not really, sorry. But he's going to be a big part of this film. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Iron Man looks great. But Spider-Man... When I first saw him in Civil War, I thought he was good as Spider-Man, not as... Peter Parker. I don't forget that. Peter Parker. I've got the huge Spider-Man canvas. Right. There. <laughs> Obviously, I've locked Spider-Man just a bit, and he's on my wallpaper quite a lot. But this film looks absolutely excellent. They've got Tom Holland playing Spider-Man. Um, he also reckons he would love to fight Venom. So they might have him one of the next ones. And they're going to make it a trilogy, I think. I think. I'm so excited for this film. There'll be reviews when it comes out. There'll be an absolute load of them. Uh, so don't worry, you'll see many things about Spider-Man Home coming, coming up from me for the next trailers. There's still not three months till it comes out. So you're going to be getting a lot of new stuff. <coughs> so next, on to... Um, well, I've been reading some really good comics lately, only some of our little ones. I read some good Star Wars issues, X-Men. I've uh, been really enjoying them, a lot of the ones I showed on the vid a week or so ago. I thought that was my door then. Um, really interested. I also bought a new comic, uh, graphic novel actually, called um, Alpha Flock Classic. This was at my local works for two pack. Ho ho ho, what a catch. For three pounds, three pound fifty on sale I think. So. I read an Alpha Flock comic and it was pretty good. So I thought, that price for a comic that big, you know, why not? But yeah, I've uh, got some graphic novels I definitely want to read. But if you want me to review any comics or anything, just let me know, so I will. Um, I'll happily do it an in-depth review of these next issues. I think I might anyway. Even if you don't mind it, you will get it. <laughs> but, next thing to talk about, the DC shows. Flash and Supergirl, I barely even want to talk about. Oh my gosh, was that crap. I did not watch Supergirl, so I don't watch it anymore. But it was all musical, Neely. With Music Master coming in from the weird guy from Glee. Awful. <laughs> they sung, they sung Paul McCartney. Ah. To see two of big TV show characters sing one of my least favourite artist songs. No, don't go near it. Flash is usually superb. Nearly every episode has been incredible. Don't go near this one. Um, let's talk about Arrow and Legends. The shows that have been good. Um, I'm going to chew my cuff sweets. So I talk normally. Wish I could edit it. <laughs> Done. Okay, so Arrow. Uh, spoilers, by the way, for episode 17. And Legends 15. But... Arrow's been captured by Prometheus and he's been tortured by him. Um, he's bringing the Evelyn, the old Black Canary, to uh, fight him. And he wouldn't kill her. He wants Arrow to kill her. He wouldn't. And she was going to try and kill him. But she didn't. He stopped her. And uh, Prometheus wants him to admit that really he's just as bad as him. And that he... He kills because he likes it. He doesn't kill because he thinks he's some amazing guy. He kills because he likes it. And he admitted it in the end. And he let him go after blowtorch his tattoo off, which was pretty horrible. Uh, but as the main thing was going on, and Felicity's been going into this Helix operation, the Pandora and that, and all this hacking, underground hacking stuff she's been doing. But she's getting them some stuff, but she's also joined this hacking corporation, which is going to go really badly when one of her finds out all of this. But, um... Also in Arab, um, flashbacks, 
uh, what was going on, stuff to do with the Bratfa, with Kovac, and the flashbacks. You see Arrow kill Kovac, uh, Dolph Lundgren, Gresta, and then in the end, he comes back to life. He opens up his eyes like that, and then it cuts the scene. Um, and you find out that Malcolm Burnett has helped bring him back to life. Um, he's helping him. That's just one more reason to hate Malcolm Berlin. Um He's one of those people you love him and hate him at different times. But that was the main flashbacks and the main stuff going on this week's episode of Arab and Legends of Tomorrow, which I watched earlier. They brought Captain Colbert, my favourite character, as a bad guy. Really cool uh, the way they brought him back. He was the Legion of Doom. And... Not too many big things happen in this episode. I'm still trying to follow the Spear of Destiny. And the Legion of Doom have got a hold of it now. They've got a hold of it. It's theirs. So, um... There's going to be some real big black Flash stuff in the next one, I think. <coughs> or coming up in the show. There is in Flash, too. But... Actually, that might have already happened. Wait. Um, in Legends, at the end of the episode, Mick joins Team Legion of Doom with Merlin, Dark, Eobard, Fawn, and Captain Cold. And they're going to rewrite history. Next episode is called Doom World. It's going to be amazing. I uh, cannot believe how excited I am for it. It's going to be brilliant. This is this Thursday in UK, um, 8 pm, um, Sky One, 106 number if you have Sky. Brilliant. Um, definitely watch it. Arrows on at 9 to follow by it. Highly recommend watching them. Flash on Tuesday is probably going to be great because I saw a Samatai's identity will be revealed. I'm so excited for that. I think it's a future version of Flash. I've got a very good feeling. It's out of HR. It's one or the other. Well, that's the DC shows. Um, I haven't watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. yet, so I can't talk about that. I'm seven episodes behind, eight episodes behind on that. I've really fallen behind. I've got, I'm have got. watching 20 shows, though. That's not a joke, I made a list. Um, what's the time, by the way? <laughs> How long has this been going now? 27 minutes. Okay, so guys, part two will be coming up immediately. Uh, watch the next episode, it'll be great. I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.